Are you on? How's it going? Thanks, Tom. Good to meet you. Chris. My name is Christian Meyer. I was a professional cyclist for a few years. Then I stopped, then I opened some coffee shops, and now I live in rainy Spain. Girona right now is on this real crux of, of cyclotourism. It's really this mecca for professionals, uh, cyclotourists, just anyone who wants to ride a bike. Girona at the moment is kind of the place to go. So I came here with Garmin Slipstream, and logistically it was much easier for them to have their riders here, especially new riders, North American riders. From then, it, it, Girona kind of grew quickly because you start building a community. So it becomes easier for other people to come and integrate. When I did Tour de France 2014, that year I was away for 160 days. We were on the beach and we kind of decided, okay, we've done the tour now, what's next? And it's like, well, let's do something for you also. We had this plan to do a coffee shop. So we started building and opened with Fabrica and didn't really know what to expect. And it's grown quite a bit in the last couple of years. And then that led us to opening Espresso Mafia. So in Espresso Mafia we have on one side a roastery, on the other side a coffee bar. From day one it was always gonna be different. Not, it was not gonna be La Fabrica again. But to me it was quite important to have different identities because I want people to also have a choice. La Fabrica is a very special place. Mafia is completely different. Same here. It's completely different than all the other places. But, you know, there's the challenge of building a new brand. So we work on the branding with quite an exceptional designer from Barcelona named Marcel Madela. Basically, we have these two colors in our logos that represent the tan line of a cyclist. You know, we wear this mark, and we're proud of this mark that we all have. Service course came because people were missing certain services. Um, there was people looking for high-end bike rentals. You know, there was people looking for a massage. There was people looking for a workshop in the center of town. And then there was also the other side of it, you know, for pros to have a place to come and and get the bikes fixed, for teams to be able to support their riders here in Girona without having to put in a big infrastructure. So if you come to the service course to rent a bike, you get a brand called Fara Cycling. It's a Norwegian brand that launched last year. We have full durets and full 3T components. All our bikes are named after climbs of around Girona. That's the climb that I used to almost explicitly train on. When I wasn't at this climb three times a week, I was actually doing the mountain profile here on the retail section is actually the profile of the coast loop. This is my speed bogging. One of the first things I sort of decided when I was retiring was that I was gonna get one more bike. The paint, I went with a, a light gray in the gold stripe. I picked the gold because it was going to be a color thing to do with the rest of the shop, but then I was just giving you an idea that it might be the gold watch that I get when I retire, so I'll go with that, it's a bit cooler. So here we have our showers and lockers, and these we modeled a bit after the most famous showers in cycling, the Perrier Roubaix showers. Got the lockers, we put some names on there, we've got our Alpecin shampoo, you know, we really try to focus on the details. Between, you know, what we love to do in hospitality, than what we know from years of riding the bike, you know, that we just apply these small things that completely change your trip. You know, we can do your laundry, we can do your massage, we'll wash your bike. So you can just come in after your ride, leave the bike with us, your laundry with us. The next morning you come in, get changed in the lockers, and everything is ready. 